Hi everyone. Um, I'm terribly late on this and I'm very sorry, um, but I promised that I was going to do some tutorials and so here I am. Uh, the first one I'm going to address is eyeliner. Um, what you want for eyeliner is first to make sure you've got all your other basic makeup on. So make sure you've done your foundation, your powder, any primers, any eyeshadow especially around about here. You want to get that all done out of the way. Um, so you can just concentrate on this and basically it means that it's going to smudge a lot less by you adding products over the top. Okay, so as I'm sure we're all aware, there are several different kinds of eyeliner. Um, the ones I'm going to focus on, if you like, um, are going to be the liquids. Um, but I'll show you some pencil as well. And I might add in a spot on the gel liner, if not. You know, I ran out of time, sorry. Um, so here we go. Um, the first eyeliner that pretty much everyone needs in their kit is a pencil liner of some sort. Um, this is, what, bourgeois column contour, but, you know, basic pencil kind of thing. Um, I chose this because it's long-lasting and I've got oily skin, so I wanted to smudge as little as possible after I've put it in place. Um, with this, okay, I'm, I'll show you the basic technique. Um, for anything. Um, on the upper lid, my tea, <laughs> with a pencil you want to pull the lid quite taut, but not too tight, and just the first thing you should ever do is just go in as close to the lash line as possible, so this will fill it in. So, just want to smudge it down. I'm just going to do one eye here, cause, so I have space for more. Um, I really, if necessary, just lift the lashes a wee bit, close your eyes and just smudge it in a bit more into the actual lashes themselves. So this prevents a gap forming between your eyelashes and any liquid liner you use later or any normal eyeliner you use later. Um, this just makes things a lot more easy. Okay, so you've done your top. On the bottom, this is what people call the waterline the inner lid, whatever you want to call it. You just pull that down, gently does it, and just fill it in. I tend not to fill all the way into the corner, but that's a personal preference. It just allows me to open up the eye a bit. Okay. So that's your basic pencil techniques. If you can do this, and it's the easiest one to practice with, then you're on to a good start. Um, if you want, with your lower lash, just go a little bit further down, just again, just in the lash line. Fill that in. And you can smudge up with a finger or, where did I put them? A cotton bud, or as Crazy Yanks call it, a Q-tip. And you can use that to keep your fingers clean and smudge it in. Keep some Q-tips around when you're using, uh, when you're doing your eye makeup because they're very useful for both as disposable makeup brushes and for cleaning up any mistakes. Okay, again, you can do just pencil liner, smudge it around, draw it, whatever you like. However, if you want to do more elaborate than just round the eyes, you want to go into a liquid liner of some sort. And that's next. So, I have two kinds of liquid liner here. I have your standard bottle with a brush. Uh, this is, what is it, collection 2000 eye definition liquid eyeliner. This is cheap as chips and it works pretty well for me. It's got a little small brush end. I don't know if you can see that, but I hope you can. Um, if you prefer for your liquids, you can go for a pen, which is a lot more easy to control, but sometimes it's not quite as dark or as thick as one would like. Um, this is Stargazer Semi-Permanent Eyeliner Pen. Love this stuff. Um, pen eyeliners are also useful when you're going under the lid um, because you, it allows more control. Um, you can also get sort of little bottles with felt tips similar to this as well. So whatever you find easiest to use. I'm going to go with the liquid liquid liner. <laughs> but the technique is the same with all of them. So you just want to start again very similarly to how you do your pencil. Okay. And then be very gentle. You just want to do a couple of short strokes. Now don't worry if you get any squiggles that you don't want. 
Let me compute that up later. And draw the uppermost line you want first. So if you want to do a flick, do it now and neaten it up if necessary. Okay. And then fill down as far as you can to the lash line. Do this afterwards, not before, because then you can smudge any excess downwards as well. And so there we go. And that's your basic eye on one side. Okay. That wasn't too hard, was it? Now, with all liquid liners, you just want to be patient, okay? Take, take some time out, practice. That's the, how you're going to learn, okay? <laughs> practice it and then you can go out and you'll look fabulous because you clearly know what you're doing and you can do this kind of thing in seconds. Um, now, I got through that quite quickly as I didn't expect myself to. So I'm going to show you one more thing. Provided I remember where I put the little pot. Two seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I'm an idiot. <laughs> ah, here we are. Right. Gel liner often comes in little pots like this. This is Maybelline. They've just introduced this before you... It's, um... Oh, God, what is this? This is about five ninety nine introductory price. It might be seven ninety nine later. I can't remember. It's a, Always it's a bit more expensive than your liquids and your pencils. But that's for a reason. As a rule, as a general guide, this is the most versatile of all liners. You can do if you want to do huge patterns on the side of your face, which is only recommended if you really know what you're doing. <laughs> um, but if you want to do that, this is the best stuff for it. It smudges less. It's generally a lot more waterproof, budge proof. Some form, some are formulated so you can put it in the water line as well, because you don't want to put liquid liner there. Um, yeah, and. This particular stuff I have worn all night and it did not smudge even once. So I was very impressed with that. Most eyeliners are halfway down my face by the two hour mark. So for that, you'll need as useful a brush as you can find. This one actually comes with a flat round tips brush, which is fairly good. You can also get um, dig through your painting sets as I did and find a nice fine tips um, pointed brush. Or, another one which is quite good for eyeliner is here. It's an angled, very flat, very narrow brush. Um, and these are great for applying eyeliner because you can place everything exactly where you want and the brush won't bend very much. So, choose your, choose your favourite brush. And I'll do the other eye now. now. You just want to take a little bit. Also, you'll notice these pots appear to be quite small, but actually they last for ages. Just don't overload your brush and you'll be fine. And again, the upper line is just like with liquid and pencil. Go back with this. Um, it's maybe slightly harder to correct with this because it's so hard wearing, but on the other hand, the Q-tips, a wee bit of spit or eyeliner remover and your golden so line your upper line now here's what i'm going to show you for the lower lid here's something that we don't normally do with the other liners if you find a good hard wearing liner you can do your lower lid and hopefully it won't smudge um, you'll notice i've not done the flick yet this is because when you're doing a lower lid it helps us start the flick from the lower side so i hold the skin just a little bit tight not too much and go in from the outer corner. Now, I can't really see very well because the light up where I put my webcam is dreadful, but it's the only place where I could actually put the webcam. So, okay, I've messed that up already, but I'm, I'm not very well practiced with this myself. Um, this is for if you want to do sort of animal eyes. You just extend the line a little bit further down from where your actual lid is, and then flick it down. Okay, and then extend the line straight as you can up, and then join it like that, and then fill it in. Okay, and then 
where did I put my paper piece? Get some white eyeliner and your black eye and your black pencil. Use black on the outer edge of your waterline down to where the gel line starts to separate. And then get white eyeliner. This is Rimmel. They do a good white eyeliner pencil and it's as cheap as a black eyeliner pencil. And fill in the rest. And then draw right down as best you can to where the line goes. Okay. Now, something I don't often do for no obvious reason is extend this line, but if you want to do that again, Try and make it a straight line from where the corner is. Hmm, you need more bit more, bit more gel. Again, you can join those two lines up if you want. You can do whatever you like with them, but gel liner is the best for this sort of thing. Or shell out a bit more for for a good liquid liner that will stay. Um, this has worked perfectly well for me. After you've done your eyeliner, you can apply your mascara, you can do whatever you like. You can extend your little curly cues if you like, but I'm just showing you the basics right now. Um, and that's about it. So all you need to remember is that if you're using gel liner with a brush, um, wash it in a little bit of eye makeup remover afterwards and dry it with a tissue towel. Do this after you've used it every time so the brush doesn't clog up. Otherwise, you just it just feels like you're stabbing yourself in the eye. Um, Okay, that's everything. See you next time. Bye!